Hi there, welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna use all the molds in front of you and this beautiful gold and metallic gold um, acrylic ink and this white pigment from Vista. So look at this beautiful gold, very metallic. Now, we've seen this done in a couple of videos by other uh, artists on YouTube and uh, thought, why not have a go? But look at these beautiful leaf molds. I love them. They're one of my favorites. Check out our playlist and you can see where we've used these leaf molds before to make some beautiful dishes. Now, this mold you can see slightly um, dyed. Uh, that's from where we've done a technique before, but it's not going to come out in this. Uh, have you seen this? This is beautiful tea light holder where we've used gold and glitter and white previously. Check out our playlist and you'll be able to see those in our white and gold collection. Now, demonstrating for you in this video, we've got Wayne and he is going to, so he's shaken up the beautiful gold acrylic ink and he's putting a few little drops there direct onto the mold. He's mixed up some Tea Expert clear resin, one-to-one -one mixing ratio, added the white pigment into it and stirred it up. Now, can you see what he's doing here? He's adding in the white liquid resin and then every now and then just putting a little drop of that beautiful metallic gold ink into the resin now hopefully you can see it there from the camera shot some of the ink is moving down through the white resin some of it staying where it is creating almost like a marble effect well at least that's what we're hoping for that's what we're going for with this. So he's just filling up the mold. Some of that gold uh, liquid ink has uh, stayed on the top there. That's absolutely fine, it's not an issue. You can of course get a little swirl stick, you know, a little uh, stick, mixing stick, and give a little, little swizzle or a little swirl. Totally up to you. So he's just giving that little mold a little bit of a squidge around the edges and by the stalk part just to make sure there's no um, air bubbles trapped. So here we go with the second one. I think he's going to do exactly the same thing. A few little drops of the gold. This would look equally as lovely if you had black ink, um, any kinds of colours really. I think we've got, I think we're going to try this possibly with copper and maybe with like a rose gold. They would look stunning. Or you could actually put two of the metallic colours in together with this beautiful white. I mean, look at the effect you can get in there. Hopefully you can see that on the surface of the mold there. You put as much gold or as little as you like, totally up to you, your choice. As like with everything, resin is gonna do its own thing anyway. Don't forget, take care of yourself when using resin. Make sure you wear gloves, you wear um, a full respirator mask and you work in a well-ventilated area. Obviously protect your clothing as well. There we go. So look at that. So now he's got a little bit of white left. Probably not enough to do all four coasters, um, but he's just going to show you. Here we go. We've got this lovely gold again. Got a thing about gold. I think we all know that by now if you've watched a few of our videos where I've said this. Um, it's just gold in another form. Not a mica powder this time or a glitter, um, but in an ink. And everything that we've used in this video will be listed in the description box with links, discount codes, should we have any. Um, yeah, just check it out. And as usual, you know, these are just, these are our ideas. This is our way of doing it. It's not necessarily always going to be the best way. Um, it may be similar to the way other people have done it. But this just gives, this is just us giving you an idea of how we would do this, how we make our creations and our projects, and you can then use that if you wish as a basis and have a go yourself. You can make your other your own color combinations. I'm actually thinking now, seeing this, that purple and dark green and gold would look sublime. They would look a real sort of real cool sort of feel. So here we go. He's just doing another coaster now. He's made up some more resin so i think i might have said it before we're used, currently using tea expert resin one to one mixing ratio very good brand very easy to use uh, we get ours from amazon they usually have some sort of discount going or special offers it's always we tend to look out for those and then make our purchases then 
There we go. Look at that. I love the way that just, it's just dissipating through the resin there. Fascinating. I always find this bit quite fascinating. There we go. So he has filled these up to the surface of the mould as well. Looking beautiful. So I think this is number three. Or it may actually be number four. <laughs> I think it is number three, in fact. There we go. Just pouring it in. Hopefully you've seen some of our other uh, white and gold themed videos. Uh, there are a few out currently. Uh, one is a white and gold collection, which is a two-parter where we made um, we made a lovely tray. We made um, a small vase. We made a soap dispenser or can actually be used as a reed diffuser. That was beautiful, that first time of using that mould. And we also made some bangles. Now, you might be seeing us using the bangle mould very soon but we're not going to make bangles so we're not going to make jewellery so make sure you hit that notification bell and you'll so that when that video comes up you'll see it so it just shows you how you can adapt things so if it says it's a bangle mold it means that you can also use it to make something else just a bit of imagination <laughs> and creative thinking is usually all, all what's required there but um yeah you're going to see that one coming up soon very soon possibly with some new wild and wonderful colorways might still involve a bit of gold though i can't say that it won't <laughs> it might <laughs> but hopefully you enjoy that and hopefully you're enjoying this video so far there we go. So you will, the demonstrations are usually a mixture of either myself or Wayne doing these. He usually wears his black gloves and I are currently wearing purpley coloured gloves. We also have a third member of our team, Hugo, and he does all our video and audio editing. So thanks to everybody here in, in the team. There we are. So. There we go. And we've got just one more to go. Thank you for staying tuned. I understand that this is a repetitive process, but we thought we'd show you the whole thing from start to finish. No speeding up this time. Um, and, you know, rather than just show you us doing one, we thought we'd just show you all of them, really. Look at that. Look at, look at the way that's worked with that resin. Wow. It's just... It, the colours, the formations, the way it reacts always fascinates me. So this is a good day or so later and they are cured. So demoulding these beautiful leaf dishes, which Wayne kept trying to convince me were feathers. They're not. We do have a feather mould, uh, which is in a, it's a dish, but it is in the shape of a feather. Um, but yeah, so just carefully removing it. Look at the way that that's cured, the way the gold has moved through the white. There we go. So it's coming away from that mould quite nicely. He's just being a bit extra especially careful. And look at that. That is beautiful. I love it. It does give the effect of marble. Probably a, maybe a tad too much gold. I don't know. Let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know what colours you'd use. If you were going to make these, um, would you have white as your main colour? And then what colours would you put with it? You know, would you go for more of a boho look? So it's a lot of pastels with maybe a couple of deep colours. Um, greens are very much in, on trend currently. Um, or would you just go for a monochrome look of the black and the white with perhaps a little bit of silver? That would look stunning. Absolutely stunning too. So here we go. It's just taking this one out of the mould. Doesn't look like there's much clean up to do either. Um, doesn't look like there's any horrible little air pockets or little holes, which is really good. Not that I think it would matter too much in these because you can't really see them if they are there. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oops. 
slippery sucker that one um but it's a beautiful we have got these uh in a different colorway completely made as soap dishes in our bathroom and our kitchen here we are so demolding these coasters always amazes me how resin cures and then it just looks so totally different so that looks like the majority of the gold has gone into the middle look at that that's just see that's obviously he must have done four drops in those places and it hasn't moved very much now what you could do is just take a stir stick or a cocktail stick and you could before it cures swirl it round in the white try and mix the white in with the gold maybe a bit more um it would probably mix it just a bit more than what it has done there but i still like the effects that these have given definitely oh look at that one wow wow see how they are all just so different to each other you're never ever going to get two things when you do this kind of technique you're never going to get two exactly the same but there we are and then on this side look at that it's beautiful almost like a similar effect to um if you've seen anyone ever seen anyone painting with inks with alcohol inks or other inks where they use the um what is it they use Oh, good Lord, I can't think of what the, what the word is. But they use air and they literally blow the colour across the... Um, they blow the watery colour across the paper. So you get shades of it. So you get shades of light to dark or dark to light. But, um, yeah, similar sort of effect. I do love those. So that's lovely. So there you can see the two leaves and the four coasters. Now, Wayne thought it would be quite nice, actually, to edge the coasters in gold just to tie them in a bit more with the leaves the two leaf dishes and he's using this lovely pen this is our favorite brand deco deco color um, this is the smaller width nib um, we do normally normally um, buy these through Amazon however for some reason or another Amazon have got a two or three week waiting or delivery date on these and of course when you need them you know what it's like being a crafter when you need it you need it and if you haven't got it it's a problem so we found another company that you could buy these from now these do not have as wide a nib they do cost less but that's because they don't have as wide a nib as the other ones um but they do the job just just as well it just takes you a little bit longer that's all so here we are. This this app bit of the video obviously has been sped up because it does take rather a long while to go around all of these edges. Just making sure that you cover up all of the side of the coaster there. There we are. See, and, and it does give. I mean, we've tried a number of brands and types, all from the expensive to the very cheap type of pens, and nothing touches this brand. Right, so here we have it. Here is the final shot. Look at these beautiful coasters. And with those leaf dishes, absolutely stunning. Really like that, and really like the different backdrop for a change. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> sort of follows in with our colour theme so really hope that you've liked this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up drop us a comment say hi don't forget we do premiere our, vi our videos in and there is live chat that you can take part in too so like share subscribe all the usual stuff it's free to subscribe and uh, yeah take care everybody and have a great week thank you bye bye <laughs>